In today's video, you get an in-depth explanation of what causes an ingrown toenail, the tools you need to recover from, and how to prevent an ingrown toenail. So stay tuned. I'm Lori Halloway, known as the meticulous manicurist on YouTube and an expert in the field of nail technology, specializing in pedicures. I didn't feel, I wanted, didn't want to go anymore because I felt like I can't, you can't talk, or, you know, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on with my toe. And when he told me that, I was like, okay, whatever, I don't want to go no. there anymore. I'll tell you what happens. So everybody has a nail wall and a nail groove, which the nail sits in. And when they remove that long, skinny piece of nail on the side, uh -huh. all of the skin around it collapses inward. Okay. And then when your nail starts growing back, starting from way down there, it hurts the whole way growing up. That's why they want to put the acid down here so the matrix doesn't produce nail anymore. Okay. So if they don't do that, then when it's growing back, it hurts the entire time it's growing back. So it's better to do a conservative and just clean out that whole area. But will it, when, it, when you're done with it, will it grow back naturally and not start yeah. looking, I don't know, you know some yeah. people's toe starts looking like that. No, yeah, no, it will be fine. Um, If you're new here, welcome! Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. I didn't want to make it worse and I've read about people who've done things. Oh yeah, and they dig. Yeah, I'll tell you the, the tools that you need. Okay. I couldn't tell if the other toe was starting to look like that one. And I was like, oh no, I don't want that to happen to the other one. Do you think that by going to the salons that I have been going to, that's been okay? Or do you think it could have been done better? I mean, I don't know. Um, I can't really tell because um, you said it has been a while. Yeah, it's been a few years. Yeah. I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was going was when it got infected and you had to go to a podiatrist and you had to cut, you know, I didn't know. Well, it can get beginning. infected, but there's different stages of ingrown toenails. So if it starts to feel sore, that's when it's, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's, when it's starting. And what happens is if somebody cuts their toenail too low and this skin, this is a perfect example, even though this side doesn't hurt yet, uh -huh. See how this skin is bubbled over top of the nail? Uh -huh. If there was a tiny spike over here, see this little teeny thing? Uh -huh. Sometimes people leave like a little jagged edge uh -huh. and then when it grows up, it will actually puncture and poke into the skin right there. Okay. And that's when it gets infected. So keeping cuticle oil on your toenail to keep all of this skin nice and soft okay. so when the nail grows it will just pop right over top of the skin because oh, this nail wants to be on top it needs to be on top like this mm -hmm. so you don't want to cut your toenail that that low on this side again I think it kind of cracked and that's why I yeah that can happen too mm -hmm. You know what I do? I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I'll get a big file, a coarse file, and mm -hmm. I'll file the skin around it if it gets Yeah, that's smart. Uh huh. That's very good. Um, very, very or good. I, uh, file, or I use my cutters my, that sure. you cut your toenails with, and I cut off the hard skin. If it's mm -hmm. soft, it doesn't hurt me or anything, and I just snip it off, and then I'll sure. file it to make it soft. And, but I don't, I don't normally put lotion and cream or aqua for like a. I took care of my dad's feet for a long time and my sister's feet before him. And my mom's also my <laughs> Oh, that's but good. So you have lots of practice. Sister. Yeah, but I just really lotion theirs and they had wounds and different things going on. So I didn't mess. Well, I kind of did my dad's, but. 
I just didn't want to have to go in and have my phone and play and there's Yeah. Stuff like no, yours will be very manageable. So if I'm cutting someone else's toenails, mm -hmm. don't cut too short then. Right. No matter who, because I do a lot of people's feet, like my boyfriends, my sisters, you know, it's just kind of a thing that I kind of just fell into doing. Well, and it depends on how deep their nail walls are too. It's kind of like a formula. You know, a lot of people like their toenails cut really short, but unless they're going to keep it up on a regular basis to keep them that short, if the skin gets in the way, it could create so a problem. So if you're not the kind of person that's going to constantly be putting some kind of oil or cream, it sounds like it's better not to have them too short. Right. Because I don't even keep up with my face and on my toes, <laughs> you know, like doing a, a routine at night with lotion and moisturizer. Yeah, that's a stain. I'll buff it out. They usually put one clear on before I put any color. It almost looks like dental instruments. Kind of. Except they're not sharp. Yeah, it's like the thunderstorm um, white noise. So when I see you going, Lori, is something I would try to do on my own? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. So I'm just going to trim off this little bit of excess skin, give the nail a little bit more space so let it grow to grow, skin, yeah, right in this little skin. groove, yeah. Because it seemed like um, there was a, like a line or something and that's where it wants to always crack. I know that's the way it is on the other toe. Right. In that little corner. And I don't, I couldn't figure out why, why does it keep cracking like right in that spot. Yeah, it's probably from the way that you walk. You probably put pressure on the tip of your toe. I do the same thing. Oh, okay. Except my toenail will crack way down here. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it just seemed like it was going further and further to me, you know, on the other toe. Like it was coming down or I'm not sure, but it just didn't seem like it, it was getting necessarily worse but not just something didn't seem right either I don't really know how to explain it but
that girl who said I took that line when you get lines in your toes? Like, mm -hmm. That that's fungus. Do you see that, Lori? No, you don't have any fungus. No. She said I did that, but that was many years ago. No, no, no. You don't. I'll I take that. When I seen that you were within driving distance, I said, I'm going. Because when I first thought about it, I was like, would you fly to get it done? I was like, I don't know, because I don't want I don't know. I, I try to figure something out, so I was glad it was doable. Are you going to drive back, or are you going to stay in town tonight? Um, I'll probably drive back. It depends if I get really tired, then maybe I'll stay. I don't know. I've been to Livonia. I don't know how far that is from here. It's like an hour away. Okay. Yeah. So I came a different direction then because it, it only takes like three hours, I think, to get from Portage to Livonia. Maybe four. Maybe it's four. They canceled our Barbie doll convention this year, so we didn't go because that's what we normally go to Livonia for. Oh, port? I think it's a port where there's a lady who does a lot of that. Mm hmm. Feels like the chair is breathing. The massage is on. That's the one I usually snip off with the cutters on mm. that second toe. Yeah, it gets a little calloused. Mm -hmm. I, I always wonder why those get like that, that particular toe. Mm -hmm. Must hit my shoe or something. Do you wear Birkenstocks? Mm-hmm. No, I usually wear, I usually wear my sandals. I wore my sandals all summer. I wear uncontrolled sandals and tackles. Does that um, cream or whatever take off the cuticle or does it just clean? Because usually they use those nippers. I'm just curious if that really... It dissolves the non-living skin so okay. you can get it off really easy. So all of that is okay. cuticle that was stuck to the nail plate. That seems like a safer way to... Yep. I don't know because I'm not used to... I don't like picking on my toes or fingernails because I don't feel like I'm really, you know, skilled enough to do that without maybe hurting myself. So I, even though I see it done, I never try it. Right. But that would be really a way to do it. Is just I do have a couple of videos where I do my own toes to show you the perspective 
oh, okay. of doing your own. You just have to click on the channel and then click on the video tab. Mm -hmm. Look through there. Do you teach it all or learn besides on YouTube? Yeah, I do classes once a year at a trade show and then I have an online nail academy. Oh, okay. So your nail is going to need to cut a new nail groove into this skin. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep all of this nice and soft and free of excess skin because it's just harder to carve right, out. Clean, Mary Lane. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> Where we got that My middle name's Ellen. Okay, I don't know where we got that money. Okay, so that means lotion or the, what did you mention? The nail mycosis okay. solution. Because it keeps the nail soft too. Okay. Because when the nail isn't like hard as a rock, it won't um, hurt the skin so much. Right. When that everything's more sense. pliable, it just right. grows up easier. Okay. Yeah. So would I have to kind of do what you're doing a little bit? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you just need to, <laughs> you just need to slip it down inside there and okay. just clean around like all that. Right. That's all you need to do. With that tool that you have, that you're using? Yep. Okay. And then um, a drop of the product in the morning okay. or at night before you go to bed. You just need to do once a day. Okay. Do I have to wear socks if I do it at night? Nope, you don't have to. So it keeps the nails soft as well as the skin. Yes. And it has a humectant in it, so it pulls moisture from your surrounding environments. So and it why stays. Why do you think it's not hurting now, though? Because it sure was hurting when I called you two weeks ago. I mean, all I did was pull it back. Yeah, you might have gotten um, that point out of there that was okay. pressing into your skin. I mean, I didn't mess with it any more than that. All I did was go like this, just on the side of it, just to oh. pull it away. I didn't like, cause I didn't, I didn't want to make it worse or anything like that. I, right. You no, know, I just didn't know. Well, we're going to let it soak again okay. and I will, uh, you know, get more okay. excess skin out of there to make some more space. <laughs> and this little thing is called the rasp and it's got like a little serrated file on the edge of it so if there's something sharp that you can't get to mm -hmm. that's poking into your skin then you file it with this like this little tiny thing right there that's probably the thing that was hurting you. Yeah, it was probably poking into your skin when your toenail was trying to grow.
We have them up front. Yeah. I could try. I mean, I don't. And then you show on there how to use them, right? It's just, oh, yeah. You know, the idea of. If I had to get only one tool today, Lori, which one would you suggest for that tool? The rasp. How much they are, I'm just thinking. And the rasp. Okay. Yeah. Because you can still order them online, right, from your... Yeah. They're not very much, though. Oh, okay. The rasp is like eight ninety nine. Oh, okay. So then I can get a couple, whatever. Yeah. And the ingrown sidewall cleaner is like eleven ninety nine. Okay. So you think I need those two? Yeah. How about the, um, the stuff that keeps the nail and the skin soft? That's twenty eight that? ninety five. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And that's once a day. Yes. Because that's what I, I just don't want it to. Yeah. That's a good idea. What not? It, it, let's just say, for instance, it grows out and it looks back to normal. Is there still a possibility that I'll keep having that? Or? There's still the possibility that your nail will crack because I do think it's probably from the way that you walk. Okay. But you won't still have a problem with it if it cuts a new nail wall. Uh -huh. As long as it gets like about right up to right there. Okay. You'll be good. Okay. And that's just like about four weeks okay. worth of growth. So then I keep it at that length? Is that what I want to do? Yeah. After it grows? Yeah. All right. That way I know what, okay. That sounds good. I want that metal file. How much is that one for the cute one? Uh, the big this one the big the one. big one? Yeah. This one is kind of expensive. It's $99. Oh, okay. But this, this really one's only $13.99. Okay. Yeah. Well, I could always work on it or ask my mom, does she want to invest in it? And she, you know, because I'm doing her fee a lot. Yes. And it, it literally will last forever. <laughs> okay. I know you mentioned on the video about soaking. Yes, it makes everything easier. Okay. So if I'm even just doing my mom's, like just cleaning up a little bit, you have to be careful with her feet. It would be okay to soak her feet. I just, I've never yeah. thought to do that. I don't know. I know I've seen people say about soaking, but I just would get that black file and just, you know, do what I needed to do. Yeah, you can use even a, like a dish pan. Yeah. Because I was getting the gel all the time, and that usually, you know, after you remove it, my nails are pretty weak. I couldn't believe how good that stuff did my nails. It does. I could not believe it because my nails, after I got older, it seemed like they just got really weak. And with that nail teeks, it just seems to, well, as long as I use it, you know, according to the directions, it really helps my nails. Even though I love having the gel. You know, the nails always look so nice when you use the gel. I thought, well, my nails go pretty 
doing that anyway. You look like you have really nice natural nails. Yeah, the nail bed's long as it is, so even if they're short, the nail bed with the length that it is, they still look pretty good. I said, well, maybe, you know, I'd rather do it that way than, you know, it's just that you have to keep up with them. This is my favorite color. Is it? It's yes. beautiful. It really is. And I like it for fall. Because I usually, after I usually stick with the, the pink and a little bit of a real soft glitter, like a baby pink, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Put the hot pink first, then I put a light baby pink over and it intensifies the baby pink. Everything Which of the Meticulous Manicurist color. nail polish colors is your favorite? Mine is Victoria's Violet, which I'm using here. My nail polish line is carcinogenic and cruelty free, made in the USA, and long lasting. Don't forget to get the base coat, top coat, and cuticle oil to help the nail polish last for weeks on fingernails yeah, I've and met so months many awesome on toenails. Over the years. Do you have clients that come like once a week? Oh, yeah. Yep. Now, do you think it would be okay if I went to the salon and let them do their thing? Or would, is mm -hmm. I better off just taking care of my own? No, you would be okay. okay. Just don't let them cut your toenails too low. Okay. Like where they're at now. But yeah. with the girls, like you showed me, no lower than No lower, yeah. Yes, ma'am. best way that I can help you is to teach you how to take care of your own okay. or how to have somebody else take care of them for you. Okay. Would well, be great if I learned because I like doing it anyway. It's just, you know, learning how to use the, the tools in the right way mm -hmm. so that I'm not digging or doing something, you know, just using them the right way. Well, I have an online course. It's called Tools, Techniques, and Timing that you can take. Okay. I give an explanation of all of the tools, how to use them, the physics, the pressure, the speed, okay. everything. Oops. How long do you think it takes to get um, pretty good at being at home? doing this type of thing, maybe not the whole, but doing massaging and taking care of the toenails like that. Not very long, as long as you have the proper instruction. Mm -hmm. I had a woman call me a couple of weeks ago. She was so sweet and I was like in between clients and answer, I grabbed the phone because the receptionist was in the bathroom. And she was just calling out of the blue. She said, I just wanted to call you and tell you that I'm a brand new nail technician and I've learned everything I know from your videos and I'm completely booked. And I just oh. wanted to say thank you. <laughs> I'm like, really? you're so sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, now that I have more time on my hands, because my dad passed away, so, um, you know, I can get back to some things that I want to do for myself, you know, that it's not constantly, you know, his care. Right. Which I, I'm glad he, he lived as long as he did, but it was constant care. So now we are all finding ourselves with more, mainly me and my sister, with more time. Yes, being a caregiver is very difficult. somewhat what that involves so it's it is a, a full time yeah, full time thing. And we took care of our dad to the very end. And we were thankful we didn't have to put him in the nursing home or anything or 
hospice. We thought we would, but we ended up not needing any hospice, so it all worked out for the best. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And sisters and brothers helped, which was pretty amazing for them to step in the way they did and just helped us. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that color. I'm so glad I came, Lori. I eat it so Oh, I'm so glad. You don't know what I was going through about thinking about my toe and just, and I am diabetic, so, you know, and I've seen what can happen. I was just. Well, you have very pretty toes. Geez. Very pretty toes. Thank you. I was just, that, but that, that nail just had me going. And then I felt like if I went to a to another salon, I just I didn't know how I would ask, like, is this going to be okay, or when I found you, I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> that's where I'm going to try to go. that's going to be different than, do you know what aquifer is? Uh-huh. Okay, so the stuff that you're talking about will soften the nail. I don't know what aquifer And the skin. Is. Yeah, and the skin. I don't know what, you know, all I know it softens skin. I don't know nothing about the nail. No, what's that? This, one? this is the stuff. Oh, okay. Yep. It's funny because after I would do paint my nails, sometimes I'll put lotion or cream over my nails. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is just a trick I found. That way, if I hit something, it doesn't automatically slide off my polish. Exactly. <laughs> and I always do my yeah. nails before bed. I do that sometimes with people. That color looks so pretty with your skin tone. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.